So the Rangers coming in at 17 and 14, five and a half back of the division leading Astros. As you look at the American League wildcard race early on, again, still just in May, it is a battle as you have the Yankees, Blue Jays, and Red Sox really leading the pack there as we're just behind. Now, overall, our Rangers are in good shape. Right now, 15th rank in the league. The power is hitting fairly well, but there is some glaring weaknesses that I think we need to address with this team sooner rather than later. We have some hot hitting players here. I really do like our switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim, but I am continuing to look at potential prospects that could take his place if time needs to come. I mean, you see, you got Sam Huff here. He's a B potential slugger for us at catcher, but you know, not really finding his place right now. So we're keeping an eye out for some potential trades as we take a quick look here at the trade block. So looking at the trade block, you see the top prospect on there is from the Jays. You got Danny Jansen. You also have Montas. It's a lot of starting pitchers. If we think we need another arm, I can see us potentially going and getting somebody. But I think we're pretty set with our rotation as it stands right now. But again, continuing to keep an eye out on the catcher position. But we're going to try to stay patient currently with Jonah Heim. We've simulated the remainder of the Angel series. We we won two out of the three. 6-3 in this one here as the Rangers played very well. Evaldi moves on to 3-1 and one with six and a thirds innings. And gave up three earned runs. And then we dropped to the Angels in the finale. Looking for the sweep. It didn't happen. We got, we got railed in this one. 8 to two as Martin Perez continuing to struggle right now for the Rangers. The all-star last year has a 5.18 ERA, not what we want to see. All right, we're here today from Safeco Field. It is, of course, or sorry, Safeco, I used to call it, T-Mobile Park, taking on the Seattle Mariners, who were a team that a lot of people thought would be the division lead, but we got to get ready to get after it. We got player lock today. We're going with Corey Seager at short. So Seager comes to the plate here, two on and one down here against Marco Gonzalez. And first pitch is a forcing at a balmy 88 mile per hour. That's not what I was anticipating. Oh, one here. And that one is hit fairly well out into the gap and it's gonna get caught. Man, I thought we were able to get that one out of the ballpark, but we do advance the runner. Runners at the corners, two down. So we're gonna pick up second inning scoreless game and Hernandez at the plate, John Gray. Delivering the 0-1, and that's hit sharply here. And we're going to have an easy play enough here. All right, we're going to do a little throw him out. Seager showing the arm strength, one down. So we pick back up, fourth inning, one out. We're trailing the Mariners, one nothing here. And that smashed. Hit hard. What? Come on, it sounds so good off the bat. The liner, two down. The 2-2 two -two delivery from Gonzalez. And that's hit well. Get get down in the gap. Get down in the gap. Dad gum it. We've hit three really sharp hit balls. But unfortunately, we're 0 for 3 on the result. It'll be a 1-2. And that's gonna be hit. Shallow left. And of course, it's another fly out. Seeger finishes 0 for 4 today, and it looks like the Mariners are gonna walk away with a dub. And they will. It's a win for the Mariners in the opener of this series. It's a 2-1 final, eight hits combined. Good stuff from John Gray. We just couldn't put together the win against Mark Gonzalez. All right, we're here for game two against Luis Castillo. He's 3-1, 2-4-4 ERA, solid stuff. We'll see if our player lock with El Bombe can work out for us. So behind in the at-bat, a 1-2, and I can't get the sinker. 98, he pulls it on me, and we strike out swinging one down. So out here in the outfield, it is Colton Wong against Haney here, and it is a 1-0 Deficit, that's hit shallow. Tough play for me. I think Simeon's got it, and he does in the glove for the first out here in this third. Going to be a 1-0 here in our second at bat. One out, fourth inning. And that's going to be hit right to the right fielder, who doesn't even have to take a step. And we're retired. Two down. So bottom of the fifth, one on, one out. one nothing. still your score. Haney's delivering his 48th pitch of this game, and it is hit high, deep. But we are there. And it is going to be an easy enough play. Two down here in the fifth. So 0-1. Oh, and I, God, I, I just can't hit this guy. He, he, they're murdering me. And it's one down. Player lock not working out so far. So Glenn Otto on in relief. 4-0, 2-1, two, 2 out. 1-2 two to Crawford. And he hits that just a step or two to the left here for Adolis Garcia. He will watch it into the glove. He'll retire the side. We're going to head to the eighth. The Rangers have six outs to work with to come back 4 nothing. 
It's going to be an 0-1 count here for Garcia. Working against Castillo, two on, one out. And he's going to roll that one. It's going to poke through the infield. It's going to bring in one. He's coming around. Here we go. A play at the plate. There's no play to be made. The Rangers with their first run of the game off the bat of Adolis Garcia with an RBI single. 0-1. Garcia here at first. Watching potential contact. Hit run situation. It is hit sharply. And no play made at first. We evade the double play. Runners at the corners. Two down. But the Mariners will still pick up the win. They pick up the first two. It's a 4-1 final. As Haney, again, not bad stuff overall. But Castillo, eight and a third, gave up one. Solid outing from these Mariners. And in the finale of the series against the M's, we pull off the win. Six to two. We look at the box score here. You see we had homers from Seager and Miller. Overall, very good outings there. DeGrom picks up his sixth win. He's now 6-0, and oh, five innings, seven hits, one earned, struck out nine. The ERA now down below one at .90. And DeClaire with his second save on the year. We're jumping into a situation here against Oakland. We've split the first two games in this four-game series. 7-6, we pull in with Marcus Simeon with two out, looking to expand the Ranger lead here late. It's going to be an 0-1, and that's hit high and deep and in the gap right off the ricky henderson field sign it's going to be a bases clearing double we clear the bases it's a huge two-run double the 11th double in the year for simi and the rangers expand the lead here and we're just gonna get past this intentional walk situation here rad miller time one for four oh oh two count on him. my base strikes out yep what i say and the Rangers, after that big hit from Simeon, we hold on for the win here in Oakland. And we now lead the series 2-1. to one. We're headed to the finale here next. It's a 9-8 win. Wow. We tried to lose it as we allowed two in the ninth inning. But we hang on for the big win. Simeon, five ribby game with two home runs. And sweet Jesus, our Rangers are up 17 to nothing in the finale of the series against the A's. 21 hits. And Haney's only given up one hit. He's struck out 11. We're going to sim to the end. It's a dub. 17 to 0. Look at the box score here. We had home runs from Tavares. Two from Nathaniel Lowe. Seager had one. Garver had one. Huff had one. And Haney, four and three now. He went complete game shutout. Gave up one hit. He walked one. And he struck out 12. That is complete and utter domination. As you look at the Rangers now, five games back in the division against the Astros. They've won six out of their last four. And if you look at the Rangers lineup, we have some hot hitting players. Simeon now nine home runs, batting 358 with 30 ribbies. And Corey Seager's coming on. He has 10 big flies, 27 ribbies. The average now up to 272. And if we take a look at the league leaders at this point as we get ready to head into our marquee matchup against the Braves, Simeon third in batting average in the American League right now behind Mullins and Bichette. And then Hits, he's still also third as well with 54 on the year. We move over to triples, and here's where the speedster Bubba Thompson leads the American League four triples tied for best with Bo Bichette. That is very solid to see. And then as we look at the home run totals, we don't have any Rangers right now that are shown on screen, but we do know that tied second, we do have Corey Seager. He has 10 big flies. That's best for tied second. Simeon right behind him there. Rangers have a couple guys showing that they have big pop. As you look at the RBI leaders, Simeon and Nathaniel Lowe, right there at four and five with 30 and 29, respectively. And DeGrom right there in the mix for most wins in the American League. He is tied for fourth with six and just trailing behind Otani, Gibson, and Sale all one win more with seven at this point in the year. But if you look at one of the big categories here, ERA, DeGrom just, DeGrom's just n dominating the league. 0 0.90 dominant. That is the best in all of baseball for the newest Ranger. So here we are from Globe Life and the Rangers in a big series here against the Atlanta Braves. 22 and 18 coming into it. DeGrom on the mound here. Let's see if the Rangers can pick up the dub. Let's go to the quick manage right now. Boom. Get out of it. Thank you. Please get out of it. Get out of it. Come on, Rangers. Kyle Wright right now is dominating us. There's Josh Young. Dang it. Crap. Get out of it. Get out of it. Golly, we're struggling today with our boy. Bases are juiced here, though. Leody. Let's go. We tied it. 
Grom settling in. Degrom is settling in. Dane Dunning on in relief now. Home run, Riley. Crap, we're trailing. Get out of it. Dad gum it. Oh, runners at the corners. Single, we bring him in. Strikeout, two outs. Sam Huff wants to jump in. So we pick up 5-4 deficit, two outs. Runners at the corners for Huff. There'll be a 1-1 one, one from Iglesias, and this is outside. Plate the plate coming here, and we are way not in time. Jesus, take the wheel. That backstop was shorter than I thought. That gummit. And that's going to be it. Two-run blast. We're tied. Mitch Garber, you're clutch as heck. We're going to extra baseball. And Garver had that two-run home run there on the sim. We now pick up bottom 10. Nathaniel Lowe with the plate. I think that Simeon there on at second. And we just need to drive him in. And that's going to be hit sharply. Center field. Deep. And we're going to be able to tag here. That's a great play. We got him playing off his back foot there. The winning run now 90 feet away for the win for the Rangers in game one of the series. And the infield is in. Trying to play at the plate on anything on the ground. Seager just needs to hit this hard. And that's going to be it. It's high. It's deep. And it's going to be a tag. We were bringing a play at the plate, but they're not going to be there in time. And it's a walk-off. Sack fly. Simeon comes in to score. Seager with the winning RBI sack fly. And the Rangers win this one here in extra baseball against the Braves to start off the series. Clutch play. As the Braves drop this one, we move on. So we move to the next game of the series. Avaldi on the mound. Eight starts, four and one, two, six, five ERA. Let's go, Rangers. Let's pick up this middle game of the series. Come on, Rangers. There's Simeon with a double. Single. We have runners at the corners for Seeger. Three run shot. We we're taking the lead here in the third. Uh oh, we may not be done yet. Yes, sir. Josh Young. Bases are juiced for Bubba. Yes, sir. Bases clearing double for Bubba Thompson. The Rangers are dominating here in this inning. Eight. One. Lynn Otto, don't suck. Thank you. Run across. Oh, no. They're making a run. Glenn Otto, get him out of the game. Barlow, please. So we pick up in the ninth inning. Nine five. You've seen some of that sim we just had. And Eli White, former Ranger. At the plate, one for three against King. And not even close, sir. 1-2, King to White here for the first out. We get him looking, strike three, sit down. The 2-2 two -two slider here, King delivering to Albies. That's hit right into our shift, which apparently is still loud, but we'll take it. Two down here in the ninth inning. It's an 0-2 to Grisham. 0-2, and it's in there, strike three. Look at the Rangers win the middle game of the series. of Aldi with the win. The Rangers' bats popped off in the early going here. We had an seven or eight run inning and the rangers pull off the w here in throwback night from arlington so we're here for the finale of the series against the braves the rangers looking for the sweep to move on to 25 and 18 we've been playing very very well you see right now how we've done against this team in the series playing very very well overall we're going to entrust this win and a struggling pitcher for the rangers it's martin perez one and three with a 5.87 era let's see if we can settle him into a big win here and this sweep game against the Braves. Bring up cutter time here. Cut fastball, one, two count against Albies on the opening, and it's gonna be, I think he went. He yes, sir, he did. Sit down. So a full count delivery. Perez looking to strike him out. He pops him up right on the base path here, and low settles under, takes it down, two down. Perez with an 0-2 delivery here to Riley, and we get him swing and strike three. Sit down, the Rangers will head to the bottom of the first. Scoreless here. We gotta be going up today against Noah. Three starts, one and oh, four four nine six ERA. Allowed seventeen hits. We're just gonna try to do our best here against him. Bubba Thompson. And he's gonna go first pitch swing. Roll it right through the gap there. It is gonna be a leadoff man aboard for the speedster. Not the best crowd here on hand today. You would think it would be better. But middle week, I guess. One, two. And he got a swing and dad gummit. That slider is just filthy on it right now. You know, with his first K of the day. One on one out for low, and he is going. It's going to be a stolen base. He's in there. No, they say he's out. I call bullcorn. 
So it'll be an 0-2 delivery here to low after that. And he gets jammed up a little bit. That's going to roll and maybe get down. It is. It's a single. Bloops in there in shallow left center. Two outs and one aboard here for the Rangers. Corey Seager, 271 average. Hit hard and sharp and down. Fair ball. Ooh, we'll take it. Hit that one. I mean, that was a smoked rocket out there to right on a rope. We one, two count, two on, two out. All three sliders this at bat. And he got us with a fourth one. Golly, filthy. And we'll retire the side, man. Left him hanging. So we're picking back up now here. We are trailing 4 nothing as we just simmed two innings in this one. We're going to do a little sim play. We're down 4 nothing, Just on a one-year contract, so he can be trade bait if he gets hot at all. Swing and a miss. We'll take it. One down here in the fourth inning, trailing 4 nothing. Let's try that again. 2-2 two -two count. Here's the cutter. Hit hard. Seeger. Botches it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Be a 3-1 delivery. Misses inside. It's a walk. Perez struggling. After that, the wheels are coming off this bus. 0-2. Oh, two. two on. That's hit sharply. Right field. Tavares. Got it. No runner tagging. Two down. Full count. Bringing the heat. Then misses high. We walk. And the bases are loaded. 1-2, looking for the strikeout. Get out of it, and we're out of it. Strike three swinging. Out of the jam, Perez surviving. We're about to see the seventh pitch of this at-bat here. Lead off this bottom of the fourth inning. And we're underneath the two seam. That's going to be skied, shallow center, and taken into the glove for out number one. It'll be a 1-2 to Tavares. And fourth seam, and we're going to get that through. It's going to be a base knock opposite field. Speed aboard. And finally, Rangers maybe showing a little offense in this game. Oh my god. They got him on the pickoff. When the auto base running fails you, Jesus, take the wheel. So 1-0 after the pickoff. And we're going to just bloop that in and it's going to get caught, I think. Oh man, what a play. From second base to center field, what a play made there. Oh, and the Rangers, please bring some offense. This is the inning to do it. Bases are loaded. Two runs in. Let's go. Another one in. We're down one now. And double play there out of the inning. Come on now. Come on, Rangers. Double. All right. So we're here for Dane Dunning time. We are down now four to three going up against Kevin Pilar. 2-2 two -two delivery. Pilar. One for two in the day. And that's strike three looking. They say caught the zone. We'll take it. Let's do it again. One, one count. One out here. Down a run. And that's hit. Brad Miller's got it. Taken over to Nathaniel Lowe and two away here in the seventh. So 2-2 two -two delivery. Two outs here in the seventh. Swing and a miss. The sinker. And Dane Dunning doing his job for the Rangers to keep us in this one down a run. And here out of the pen is Dylan Lee. It's 23 games, one and one with an ERA. Just hovering at 213. Solid stuff. So the lefty on the bump here against Marcus Simeon. And that's popped right up in front of the plate. Are you serious? Simeon, one down. It'll be an 0-2 here for Nathaniel Lowe. Needing to get the Rangers tied up here. That's poked. Shortstop coming. Tough play to make, but Nathaniel Lowe not known for the speed. Nice stretch there as well. Two down. Dylan Lee right here, 2-0 count. He's been solid so far in this inning of work. And that's hit high. Is it deep enough, though? Carry. Carry ball. Are you so just died in front of the Rangers bullpen and they retire the side in order. We're going to keep Dane Dunning out there for another inning of work. He's done great for us. And that's hit into and away from the shift. Matter of fact, it'll be a leadoff single here in the eighth inning. Go up there again. Full count three, two and popped up right field. Garcia makes the play one down here in the eighth. One Oh slider. That's hit high. That's hit deep and take it off the wall Bubba Thompson you suck are you serious off his glove and they have runners in scoring position at the second and third are you serious we're going to put on the intentional pass now for Azuna 1-0 and that's going to be a blooper can we get there with Bubba we will the runners get a tag Plate the plate is not going to be in time. They take another run in. We're down two now here. We need to get him now. We can't let Pilar get up there. Full count. Up the middle. Dane Dunning says, I got you, sir. We're out of it. 
We gave up a run. We're down two. We have six outs to work with. 0-2 delivery to Adolis, and he got us on the slider again. It is our kryptonite. 0-1 to Tavares. That skied high and shallow and not good. Two down on a sky high. We were just underneath it barely. Switch hitting Jonah Heim now to the plate. This is way inside. We're going to go ahead and put in Leclerc next inning. So two down for the Rangers. We really just... I, we needed to get a run this half inning, but it doesn't appear that's going to be the case as we roll that one foul. So two outs here, 1-1. One, one. Fouled off the slider. And it'll be a 1-2 for Jonah Heim. This is outside ball. Two two delivery from Glacius. Fouled, rolled over. Ooh, I may even ball three. Yep, it was. So two two from Glacius here. And that's gonna be skied into the bleachers. We'll do it again. Seventh pitch of the at bat. 2 2. Heim. Another fouled off pitch. Staying alive. He's battling. I respect it. Another pitch here. 2 2 count. And another fouled off ball. So take a look there. This is the ninth pitch. And Heim just looking to try to get aboard. This is low. So this will be the 10th full count. Ball four. We will take our base. The Rangers will bring up the tying run here with two outs in the eighth. And out of the pen will come A.J. Minter, the closer for the Braves, looking to get a little early work here today. And Josh Young had an off day today, but we're going to pull him in here in a pinch hit situation against the lefty Rio delivery. And that's outside. All four not even close. We're going to walk with pinch hitting Josh Young. Mentor the closer in trouble. So Huff in trouble. He's had a great day. But big clutch spot here. It's 0-2. And he swings and misses. And Mentor gets out of the jam. And the Rangers are going to bring in Jose Leclerc now. You see how his numbers have been. They've been kind of trash, to be honest. Got to get the strike out here. 1-2. Hit to Josh Young. And one down here in the ninth inning. Oh, Baez. Dang, is how you say it. Popped up here. Trying to decide if I'm saying his name wrong this whole time, but I don't really, whatever. Two down, though, in the ninth. And that's a grounder. Please, please, please. And yes, sir. We're going to go to the bottom of the ninth. The Rangers are trailing by two. Got to have a little ninth inning magic. Bubba Thompson, leadoff man at the plate. 0 oh, 1 count here for the Rangers. And he pops that one up. That will be tailored in there. It's one down, just like that. Ninth inning. And that's hit, but it's going to be caught. I think. God, man, the shift was on. Still out, though. We're down to our final out here, and the sweep doesn't look likely. 3-0. Ball four. We'll take our base, so the Rangers will bring up the tying run. As Mentor walks Nathaniel Lowe, that will bring up Corey Seager. And Seager to the plate. This is a huge spot. Huge spot. Rangers. Miss inside. So Seager just needing to have good contact here. It is a 1-2 count. And he got me on the four seam. I thought it was going to be over the middle of the plate. Or, and the Braves will pull off the win. It was a good game. But the early offense for the Braves really made the difference. They had four runs earlier on in the game before the fifth inning. And uh, the Rangers battled back, but couldn't pull off the win here as Perez. Another loss. But the Rangers won this one 5-3. Still staying in the hunt in the division. As we look forward to the rest of the month of May, the Rangers drop this one here 5-3. We will see you in the next one.